Hey guys, this is Georgia Green Girl. Today we're going to be learning together how to rebuild a 4L ADE transmission. Um, I was hoping to learn this skill before I actually needed it, but that didn't happen, so now we're going to rebuild one together. I've been watching a lot of videos and um, reading the manual backwards, forwards, sideways, and every way that I can, trying to figure out what specialty tools I need and which ones I can do without. Um, so we'll be going through all that. First I will do the main disassembly, then each part's sub-disassembly, um, placing all the seals and gaskets and bushings and um, all that, and uh, putting it back together. So I hope you enjoy. Take care. So one of the things I wanted to show you was that I um, I got this book off eBay and um, from J. Murph, 1945. Um, Murphy's Automotive in Florence, Alabama. They were the best priced and um, they've been extremely nice to deal with. I've had some pretty bad experiences with transmission parts places. Um, anyway, so I eliminated it so that I can look through it with greasy fingers and it's okay. I'm going to put everything in its own Tupperware so I don't lose it. And um, I also have all my screws and bolts that I'm going to need separated in a craft organizer. Um, so I can clean it and put it back where it belongs and I know exactly where it goes because like I said I've never done this before. I am going to be using a mixture of things. Um, I've got a cordless drill here that I think I can do the majority of it with uh, since I don't have an air gun but I've also got a ratchet set. These are the three sizes that I'm going to need for my original disassembly and this is uh, just a normal set, but I'm going to need this T40, the Torx 40, for one of uh, for the the two bolts that uh, go in through the valve body and hold in parts of the transmission. Okay, first. Uh, I removed the torque converter and drained the transmission fluid. There's supposed to be a um, an O-ring either on here or on the torque, con torque converter, but I didn't see it on either. To remove the two speed sensor assemblies. So we will go ahead and do that. Those are on the side here. And it looks like it uses a number eight. Yes. Those have some shavings on them.
I'm going to go ahead and remove everything from the outside first. So, we will go ahead and remove this doodad. So now we're removing the oil pump. Since I do not have a um, bench fixture, I'm going to have to make one. Seven thirteen millimeter oil pump bolts. Okay. Now we've got, uh, what millimeter are these, Guys. number 10, transmission filter pan bolt. So yeah, there's a lot of metallic shavings in there. <coughs> Filter and multi-lip seal in case. See, figure with lots of gunk on it. All right, well, I will get that out later. Tanning bolts for the pressure switch manifold assembly. That's right here. That's eight. Okay, so I've removed the bolts from the pressure switch assembly and um, it's recommended that you twist it back and forth because there are O-rings on there instead of just yanking it out like this. Okay, and the O-rings are on there. Now, there's some wires I've got to pull out of here. So I'm just going to squeeze these together. That looks like the logical thing to do, although they don't 
have instructions for this on the book. Okay. Valve 110 millimeter bolts from the valve body assembly. And I think I have to remove this wiring harness first. At some point. before I can get all of these bolts.